Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to learn Heavenly by Secrets After Sex. Um, it's based on an arrangement I did a couple years ago for a cover. You can check it out here somewhere. And um, it's basically just a fun way to play the song where you incorporate the bass a little bit more and the drums. And um, it's perfect for if you are singing it by yourself or want to accompany a singer or something. And it's also perfect if you're like in that beginner to intermediate range where you've learned some open chords, some strumming, and you maybe want to learn some more finger style and percussion and stuff. So, yeah, and this tutorial is maybe a couple years late, so I don't know if people really want a tutorial anymore or need a tutorial. But in case you do and want to learn the song, then I really hope this helps you out. Okay, so first things first, the way I play this song is in a tuning called D standard, which is basically just. Uh, your normal tuning, but you put a capo on the 2nd fret and then you use a tuner to tune all the strings down two steps, so it sounds like this again. Um, this is completely up to you, I just do it because it suits my voice better like that, and because Sigrid's uh, songs are usually very bassy and darker, so that's why I do it, but it's not necessary. And especially if you're going to sing it yourself, I would experiment with not down tuning and maybe putting it higher up if you have a higher voice than, than me or want to make your own version or something. So that's completely up to you. But uh, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to down tune it like in the original cover thing. Okay, so first off, um, I will call the thickest string the sixth string, and the thinnest one the first string. So when I say the third string, I mean the third one from the bottom, and when I say the fifth string, I mean the fifth string from the bottom. Alright, so we start out with what's called an A major 7 chord, which is that you put your first finger on the third string, on the first fret, uh, this one, and you put your second finger on the 4th string on the 2nd fret and you put your 3rd finger on the 2nd string on the 2nd fret so under this finger <coughs> and you don't play the 6th string and you don't play the 1st string you just play the middle ones and after that you play the 1st string so now we have so that's the first part Okay, so the next chord is a D major 7 something, I think. And it's that you put your first finger on the third string on the second fret, and you put your middle finger right under it. So the thinnest one is open. And you just play uh, the fourth, third, and second string. So you don't play this, you just play those three strings. So now we have After you've played this you play an open second string. So you play and then open. So then you take the same chord from earlier, the A major 7, but you remove the ring finger and you only play 5, 4, 3. And then you play open 2. Because previously the ring finger was there, but since we removed it, it's now an open 2. Second string. So... So first, and then open. So now we have and then the last part is you play the same chord from earlier and you only play the fourth, third and second string. So exactly the same as earlier. And that's the whole intro. So uh, good job. Let's play it uh, together. So we got, and if this is hard at this point, then just rewatch this part over and just get this part done before you 
uh, go further. All right. <laughs> Okay, so here comes the fun part, which is the verse. Um, that's where we combine the bass and the drums, which will be the slapping and stuff. So this, if you haven't done a lot of like uh, rhythm stuff and slapping, then this will take some time to learn. But once you've learned how to slap and stuff, then you will do it all the time because it's the most fun way to play guitar when you can like incorporate the uh, slapping and stuff. So uh, it's uh, worth your time to just um, spend a little bit of time to practice this. Okay, so the good part is that uh, we use basically the chords from the beginning just a little bit differently. Since you know the intro then the verse part will just be the same as the intro with a little bit more stuff. So first the chords. I think the easiest way to learn it is to first learn the chords. Let's see. Like this. Before we add any slapping. So the way we play this is you put your first, yeah, uh, the same chord as the beginning, but without the ring finger. And here we don't strum, uh, we pluck, so you do like this. So you grab these strings, 5, 4, 3, and you play. So that's the first chord. The second is um, it's just that you put your first finger, instead of having it on the first fret, you just slide it over there. So they're just like together there on the second. So you go one, two. Okay, so this next chord might be a little bit difficult, but um, well not difficult, but just unusual. And the way you play it is you put your first finger on the fourth string on the second fret, like this. And then you put your pinky finger or ring finger, whichever you are most comfortable with, on the 4th fret on the 3rd string, like this. So now you have this. And you play, you play the 5th, 4th and 3rd string together. So now we got... Alright. And then, the last chord is just uh, where you put your first finger on the 3rd fret, 2nd fret, and middle finger under. And you play 4-3-2. Uh, so, together, we now have... Okay, so this next part is where we introduce the slapping stuff. And this part especially, I remember when I first started to learn slapping, I thought it was so hard, but uh, the more you do it, the easier it becomes, and it will become like second nature, and a guitar will be a lot more fun to play when you learn how to slap the uh, stuff. So, um, make sure you are really comfortable with these chords now. Okay, so I'll just play with the slapping. Okay, so we start with... with playing the first chord, and then we take our thumb, and we like, slap like this. So the sixth and the fifth string. Like that. Don't worry about these strings, it's the 6th and 5th fret. Okay, so the next lap is... Here, we first pluck the 5th string, then we slap, and then we pluck the 5th string again. So it goes...
Alright. Pluck, snap, pluck. Okay, so the third slap, let's see, we got this. And then we change to this chord from earlier, and you pluck the fifth string twice. And then you pluck the fourth and third string. So. And then you slap. So, bass, bass, pluck, slap. This is maybe the hardest part. Uh, so if you get this down, then you're, you're, you're good. So, together. One more time. Perfect. And then, it's just the same chord from earlier. Um, third string, second fret, and this one right under. And you pluck 4, 3, 2 at the same time. And what I like to do here is just a little shake of the guitar. So now we have... Okay, so the last part, and I'm sorry this is the hardest part, is while you're on that chord, you've just played this, right? And while we're here, you play the fourth, and then you slap, but at the same time as you slap, you strum the third and second string with your two fingers, and then you strum the fourth string once again. So you go... Okay, this is pretty hard, but just practice a little bit and it comes naturally. So, that was the entire verse. Good job, and then once again, together. Alright, great job, we're almost done. You now have the intro, you have the verse. So it's just the chorus left, so take yourself a well-deserved break, go outside, make a cup of coffee or tea or something. I think for me, I got this for Christmas. It's a organic herbal tea, cinnamon and ginger. I think we're gonna try this one out. So yeah, take yourself a well-deserved break and um, come back soon. Okay, chorus. I'll just play through one time. So the chords you need here is an A sus4, which is basically an A major chord, a normal A chord. Um, these three strings, two, three, and four. But instead of playing a normal A chord like this, you lift up your bottom finger. So now you only play fourth string and third string on the second fret. The next chord is an E major your normal E chord, your first finger on the third string, your ring finger on the fourth string, second fret, and your middle finger over that, and you play all the strings. And on this chord, the first one, you don't play the sixth string, you just play the fifth and down. And on this E chord, you play all the strings. Then it's the hard chord, if you haven't played bar chords before, it's a B minor, like this. So what you do is you cover all these strings. First I will teach you the real version and then an easier version if this is too hard. So you cover all the strings except this one on the second fret, and then you put your middle finger on the second string, on the third fret, your pinky finger on the 3rd string, 4th fret, and your ring finger all over. So it goes like this. Here you don't play the 6th string either. But if this is too hard, uh, then it's enough to just just play this note, and then just 
um, not play the first string. So just like that. So you kind of fake the chord. But this is something you have to learn as you progress as a guitarist. So if you can, then just practice covering all the strings like this until you have it. The last chord is your normal D major. It's one of the first chords you learn. You probably know it already. But if not, then it's uh, first finger, third string, second fret, middle finger, first string, second fret, and ring finger, second string, third fret. And here you just play the bottom four strings. So together you have aces four, E major, B minor, and D major. Perfect. And the strumming pattern um, is... This is one of the most common chord, uh, strumming patterns you'll ever use, so this is a good one to learn. It's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So before you do anything, just cover all the strings like this and um, just practice that rhythm. So down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then you just put the chords to it. Down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down. So that was the end of the video. Good job. Hope you got something out of it, that you learned something. It was a lot of fun to make, and I hope uh, you take with you the whole slapping thing and the whole uh, rhythm thing, so you can evolve even more as a guitarist and create your own style and stuff. And um, yeah, I think I'll record a cover of Cry by Cigarettes in a couple of days. It's been a long time since I made a Cigarettes cover, so I hope you stick around for that. I would love to hear what you thought about uh, this whole video and stuff, so if you have time to leave a comment, that would be great. And uh, yeah, until next time, take care, and uh, see you around.